What is up guys, Charlie Pang is here. So today I wanted to go over four tips that can help you guys sell more t-shirts. So if you own a clothing line and you're struggling to sell your t-shirts, or let's say you're just starting a brand and you just wanna know how to go about it, this video is perfect for you. Before we get into the tips, I'm gonna drink my Starbucks. All right, now I'm ready, let's do it. Tip number one, it may seem like common sense, but I promise you a lot of people don't think about it. So tip number one is know your audience. If you don't know your audience, you cannot sell shirts to that audience that you don't know, right? So it's always good to do your research. Now, when I owned a clothing line, I was targeting skateboarding people. So people that loved skateboarding and that were skateboarders. And that seemed to work really well because I would follow other brands uh, followers, let's say on Instagram, I would go to like uh, Thrasher Magazine's uh, Instagram and follow all those people and those people were already interested in that type of clothing So it was really easy for me to get sales off that Thrasher magazine's Instagram page because all those fans of Thrasher Were interested in my brand because of the style I was going for so it's really important to know um, who you're targeting. So, and, and that that's not always easy. You know, you have to really think about what your brand's gonna be about, um, what's the style and everything like that. There's a lot that goes into it, but I promise you, if you guys uh, focus more on who your audience is and cater to that audience, I promise you, you will sell more. Easy. Right, tip number two, this is the most important tip for me because this is something that personally has helped my clothing line that I owned in the past, and that is developing a message. So what's your brand about? Do you have anything that's specific to your brand? Like, let me give you guys an example real quick. If you guys take Nike, okay? Nike has a slogan that says, just do it, right? And they target athletic people, which goes into knowing your audience. So. Nike knew that they were more towards the athletic people, so they target athletic people, people that are in some sort of sport um, or just active in general, and they have a slogan, which is just do it. That's their message. Get up and do it. Don't be lazy. Just be motivated every day and get up and do it. So the brand developed this community of people. like It's almost like a cult in a way, but a positive cult, you know? And the cult is just do it. So these people that wear Nike, they, they think that in their head. They think that they feel motivated in a way because they're wearing Nike because that's what the brand the, the brand's message gives off and it's almost like this vibe that you get when you're wearing the shirt, right? And I know personally when I wear brands that have a cool message, I feel better about wearing that brand because it's not just some random brand that I'm wearing. It's a brand that actually means something to me, you know? So creating a message that means something to people really, really helps attach them to your brand, which is good because it creates repeat customers. And anytime you sell your clothes in a store or online, when people see it, they're gonna know your message and they're automatically gonna think about buying one of your, uh, one of your items now because of that message. So very, very important guys, that was tip number two. Tip number three is don't make a bunch of shitty designs, okay? Simply just don't do it. Don't make a bunch of designs that are super shitty that are just gonna be online for years and years without anybody buying them because the truth is nobody wants a shitty design, okay? Very few people are gonna buy a shitty design and let me explain why I'm saying this. It sounds kind of mean, right? But the truth is, I'd rather make one awesome design than put up a hundred shitty designs. And the reason why is because that one good quality design is going to sell way more than the hundred designs that you put up that are crappy. So you just gotta make sure you're putting up quality versus quantity. And I've said that in my other 10 tips to starting a clothing line video, but it's true. You wanna focus on quality, don't focus on quantity, okay? My girlfriend's in the background. So one thing that my girlfriend just brought to my attention, which is great, and it's uh, something that I forgot to mention. When you have one good quality design and you mix it with a bunch of shitty designs, people are gonna have a really, really hard time finding that good quality design, which means you're gonna lack on sales now because you mixed it with all those shitty designs. So just focus on building a quality brand, guys. Focus on building quality designs. Even if you have to hire a top of the line designer to do that for you, if you can't do it, that's fine, accept it, and just move on and hire a badass designer that can design your merch for you. I promise you, you're gonna be a lot more successful that way. Um, I know that I started off making a bunch of random designs that didn't sell at all, and then I started focusing more on um, designs that had a message and actually took I took more time on, and they sold immediately. So definitely a good, helpful tip for you guys. So tip number four is common sense, but a lot of people forget to do this or even think about doing it, but it is very, very important, probably one of the most important things I mentioned today. Um, tip number four is basically staying active. And, and just being on top of your brand. What I'm saying is you actually have to live your brand. You have to become your brand. You have to live it. You have to eat it. You have to shit it. Literally everything has to be revolved around that brand or else it's not gonna work out, guys. So one example I can give you, if, if you're on Instagram and you're only posting like once per week, that's not being on top of your brand. What that's doing is it's kind of being lazy and you're not really um, putting any care into that brand to build it up 
and build an audience around that brand. So what you really need to do is you need to stay active on Instagram. You know, go to Instagram accounts that are similar to the target audience that you're going for and follow those people, interact with them, tell them about your brand maybe, send them messages, whatever it takes. Be on top of your brand without being annoying about it, obviously. But uh, another thing is reaching out to other people that either are similar to your brand and just get advice from them or, you know, simply hiring a, a model to make your pictures look that much better. There's sm small things that you can do to stay active with your brand to make your brand look that much better. For instance, if I go to Instagram right now and I see a clothing line that just puts a quick little picture up with some shitty text on it, I'm not going to want to buy anything from them. But if I go to a, a brand that has a really cool picture that you can tell they actually put some thought into it and, and, and it's a good quality picture and you could tell that they maybe hired a photographer to do it, that's a brand that I want to buy stuff from because it tells a lot about the person that's making it, which means I'm, I'm expecting quality content, quality products from that brand now just because their Instagram looked more presentable or their Facebook, whatever social media they use. So um, one thing that I did when I owned a clothing line was I actually reached out to a photographer that ended up doing some free stuff for me and my girlfriend's clothing line because they liked our clothing line that much. So it's, it's just about networking working guys you never know who you're gonna talk to that person that you talk to might be the nicest person that wants to help you out so I reached out to somebody that did photography they had a few models that wanted to model our clothing and they did it for free and I, in, in exchange I promoted them on our Instagram count of 25,000 people or so whatever we had at the time so so that's all it takes is uh, caring about the brand networking and you do have to baby it at first but I eventually you will start selling more shirts because people are gonna tell that you care about it, you know? So you really wanna put that message out there that you care. You don't wanna just abuse your brand because no one's gonna wanna buy it and I promise you they can tell a good brand from a bad brand. So that's really all I got for you guys today. Those are four tips on how you guys can sell more shirts. Follow them if you want, but I promise you they do work because I've used these tips before and they've helped me out tremendously. That's it for me, guys. My name is Charlie Pangus. If you guys like this video, please subscribe if you haven't already. Tell me what you thought about the video in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. I, I, I,